Oh, hello there, champion. No, 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 it's not Magni. It's me, Dwarf Ironbottom. Pull up a chair and I'll tell you the story of the Battle for Azeroth. It all started... Oh, you're in a hurry. Uh, right, right, I'll give you the quick version. It all started when a giant fireboy stabbed the planet. Our diamond dad is like, the wounds, and gives everybody the heart of Azeroth to heal the planet. Everyone starts fighting over Azerite, a new powerful mineral. Sylvanas burns down Tildrassil like a freaking gender reveal party. Sarfane doesn't approve of Sylvanas' actions, or gender reveal parties. The Alliance attacks Lordaeron, the city above Undercity. Sylvanas says, nah, and bails. The Alliance head to Kul Turris. The Kul Turrans and the Proudmoor family don't like Jaina because she let her dad die while singing a song. It's pretty good, you should check it out. Lady Asface, I mean Ashvane, Catherine Proudmoor's advisor, is a baddie. Jaina's mom is like, whoopsies, and welcomes the Alliance and Jaina. Princess Talagadi and Prophet Zul get kidnapped by the Alliance. The Horde sets Stormwind on freaking fire, again with the fire. The two are rescued and they head to Zandalari. There's this test tube baby old god named Gahoon and he's just causing all kinds of havoc. Oh, and there's this long boy here, everybody wants him but he's super expensive. Zul is a traitor too and he's trying to release Gahoon. Rosta has to ally with Buon Samdi, the Loa of Death. It's overall pretty cool. Zul is killed and the champions take care of Gahoon. The Horde find the Abyssal Scepter. They break Lady Ashvane out of prison and she works with the Horde. Typical. Sylvanas trips over the body of Derek Proudmore. She slides into his DM, his death mattress, his coffin, and's like, wake up! The Alliance steals the scepter back. The scepter feels very used, but popular. The Alliance attacks the Zandalari capital. Rasta uses the power of Buon Samdi to fight back, but then, uh, bleh. The Zandalari look at the Horde and are like, so, more of the Horde thinks Sylvanas is a real... Bloodhoof helped the Proudmoor zombie escape and Sylvanas locks him up. Tarandi becomes Sailor Moon and starts wrecking face. The Horde bring the Blade of the Black Empire to Sylvanas. This creates a connection between Sylvanas, Ashara Queen of the Naga and the Old God Nazoth. Ashara was a night elf that tried to hook up with the Legion. It didn't work and her whole city was flooded. Nazoth said, I'll let you live but you've got to serve me and also be a gross snake thing. Sylvanas cooked up a plan to pull the whole horde and the alliance down into Najatar. Ashara tricked her asses and as we use the heart of Azeroth against her, it ends up breaking the chains that hold Nazoth prisoner. Nazoth pops a quick res on Ashara and they bounce. Also, stuff happens with Mechagon, but nobody cares. Sarfing was captured, but Anduin didn't kill him. He's a good boy. Anduin says, go get your boy Thrall and let's smack a banshee. Sarfing gets Thrall to come back. Some of the Horde and the Alliance come together to attack Ogrimmar and take out Sylvanas. Sarfink says, nah, and fights Sylvanas alone in a mock gora. Sarfink cuts her face and she's all, the Horde is nothing! Banner Bay's like, say what? She kills Sarfink and everyone's super sad while Sarfink's like, can I get a res please? Rathian got sexy! He tells Anduin the Zoss attacking our minds. Everyone now has to level up a back blanket to keep from going insane. The champions are sent into the city of Nihilotha to kill Nazoth because he's a total nadouche. Rathian uses the blade of the Black Empire and totally shanks Nazoth's carapace. The champions continue on to fight the giant purple octopus pimple themselves. Everyone but you gets mind control. You use the heart of Azeroth to spirit bomb that sucker directly in his big old brain and kill Nazoth. Every other champion will say it was them that did it, but it was really you. Azeroth gets over her stabbing trauma and feels all better. Anduin declares the fourth war over, but Sailor Moon's pissed. Bolvar makes new Death Knights from his ice cube. Mechadomes join the Alliance even though no one wanted them to. The Horde get little foxes. Sylvanas goes to ICC to see if Invincible drops, but instead drops the Helm of Domination and cracks the sky. The fight was super weak, like Bolvar wasn't even an obstacle. He should have been stronger, Blizzard. Sylvanas is in cahoots with the Jailer. Everyone dislikes that. Now, we all look to the skies as we venture into the afterlife and choose to join the Edgelords, Team Edward, the Tree Huggers, or the Blue Angels. And that's where the story of the Shadowlands begins. But that's for another time, champion. In the meantime, remember, keep your feet on the ground. Oh, and if you want to watch me play in World of Warcraft with my wife, Jen, check out our stream at twitch.tv slash generic light. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.
and click one of the links on the screen to check out some of our other videos.